All right, matrices now. What is the order? That means like the size of this matrix. So we know it is always rows by columns. There are four rows by one column. That's an easy one, isn't it? How many of these farmers came from either, either the uh, north or south? Well, there's the north, there's the south. So it is uh, 36 plus 20 equals 56 farmers. Okay, so we need to write down a matrix that could be multiplied by our previous matrix of F2017 to give a total. Now, if you look at the logic of this, we knew that this guy, because that was the, literally the previous question, is a 4 by 1, and a total is going to be a 1 by 1. So, if you're doing a smiley face sort of approach to things, we know we're going to have a 1 here and a 1 here, so that it equals a 1 by 1. So the numbers that need to be in here, uh, the the one, the one on the right here has to be a 1, or the one on the left has to be a 1. Well, if we look at this number here, it can only be a 4 by 1 to fit here. And so the other matrix must be a 1 by 4 when we multiply them. Yes, so logically, this must be uh, F2017, and this numbers must fit into a 1 by 4. And currently, they're vertically, they're a 4 by 1, right? So to get this whole thing to work, we uh, to, so that we end up with a 1 by 1 total answer, it's going to be a 1 by 4. So we're going to have one row, which is 25, 20, 45, 35, right? And so later on, you can multiply it by the F2017, and it'll give you a 1 by 1 answer. They don't actually ask you to do it yet. Okay, so the number of farmers who attend the 2018 conference will have increased by 25% from the previous year, which is 2017. So you've got to put a number in there. Well, this is just like finance, isn't it? So you've got all of 2017, right, which is 100% of them, plus another 25%. So that's 125%. But that's per cent, so that equals 1.25. So you're going to multiply by 1.25.